that happened and he turned into a different person after she died. And I, you could just see it. And then he got into drugs and alcohol and who knows what else he was doing. A lot of drugs. And what are we talking about for real? My uncle's life story. Um, what the fuck are you doing, cat? So he got into a lot of drugs, uh, and while I was in college, he he texted me saying he's gonna bring my mom back to life. That's how bad it got. He became delusional, um, and he was deaf, so that's why he was teaching me ASL. Uh, <laughs> and so, as time went on, I moved down to I moved down to the south. He still lived in Michigan, and. Thank you for the heart. Thank you for the heart. Curious user. Thank you for following Marco Ruiz. He's he still lived in Michigan, and then the next five years that I lived down here, it just got worse and worse and worse. And I stopped hanging out with him as much because of the drugs. And when people turn to drugs and start stealing and doing bad things, I kind of just stay away from that. You know, um, it's unfortunate, but is to protect yourself. Like you don't know what these type of people who are on drugs are capable of, even if they're your family. Uh, sorry, I'm like saying um a lot. <laughs> the way you explained it, it was so weird. Like you get into the robot stuff. Yeah, sorry. And then he started watching CNN at night. Every night he would stand in front of the TV, my grandma said and watch CNN. And he said, it's sending me subliminal messages. <laughs> That's how bad it, it got to the point he lost his mind. He had a mental breakdown, essentially. And then he died um, a year ago from, maybe it's a year and a half ago, from COVID and from, I think, overdosing as well on whatever he was on. So don't do drugs. Uh, <laughs> but also don't have a mental breakdown. He was, he was the smartest guy I knew. He knew everything about history, American Sign Language. And he went from that to that so fast. Yeah, the CNA was, or the CNN was, sending him subliminal messages. My grandma said, um, I was just visit her. I just <clears throat> visited her um, a, a last month. And that's what she told me. And she said that he was going around the town calling her a crazy lady. And so the neighbors thought my grandma was crazy. And he was just talking a lot of crap. He's like, don't mess with that. She was in a men mental institution. Don't, don't go over to her house. Um, it was insane. <laughs> my my family history is not the 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 best. <laughs> but um, it's it's very sad that somebody that you loved deeply turned into that type of person that you don't know anymore and recognize. So it's, it's just, it breaks your heart. There's nothing you can do about it. Thank you, Lester Coates, for the follow. Tony Capone, Ryan Wolf, thank you for the follow. Yeah, we do all, everybody has crazy family stories for sure. Thanks for the hugs. Jade is my rock. Spooky, thanks for the pink shoes. Shoes for me, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Get a serious story and then go back to my AI. Oh my God. All right, let's do it. <laughs> You're in the group of random cashiers. I've never been a cashier. I don't talk to cashiers. They scare me. People on drugs need help, but also put in their place from personal experience. Yes.
So when people say like um, the news is manipulating you, it is manipulating those weak minded individuals who may be on drugs, who may be in their home all day, every day. And all they do is watch all they do is watch the news. They can be manipulated into believing that they're getting messages, that things are not the way that they are. Um, it's you have to learn to question everything if you don't continue to question it. Are you the one actually believing it? Are you being told what to believe? Like, why do I believe this way? Yes, that was my uncle. And when you stop questioning everything, you become closed minded and you can't have any growth when you're stuck in your ways. You know, they say like old dogs can't change their old dogs can't change their ways, you know. Um, they can. They can if they decide to, but it's easier to stay comfortable and ignorant to what's happening around you in reality and stay in here. Because you know what's going to happen in here. You're comfortable in here, but outside of your mind is scary. Like, <laughs> if you've never been on an airplane, you think it's scary. Like, what's going to happen? I could die. That's true. But have you tried? Are you going to try it? Are you, are you going to live your whole life in fear of it? Thank you, wise guy. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. Is that what I said? That's not, is that what I said? I don't know. Jan, thanks for the follow. Hello, Kentucky. How's it going? We're almost to our goal tonight. I need 10 cowboy hats. Um, I'll be right back. I gotta get a drink. Um, look at this cat while I'm gone and give him subliminal, subliminal messages. What is my earring doing? What are my earrings doing over here? I was looking for these. What the fuck? <laughs> you gave the cat, you gave the cat a cowboy <laughs> He's not, he's dead asleep. He's, he's in the deepest slumber of his life. I didn't mean to wake you up. Go back to sleep. Go to sleep, little boy. Go to sleep, little boy. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, little baby. Go to sleep. Oh, uh -huh. are they waking you up? Are they waking you up? Are they waking you up? They send a gift and they wake you up. 
Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. Oh. Go to sleep. You're tired. You have too much energy. Bruh. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Something in the middle of the purr, purr, purr. No, nobody believes in my cause. Except for the person who sent these crate, all the crates and all the, I mean, all the, I mean, all, okay. You guys might believe in my cause. You would thank you for believing in me. And the Lord said upon, Lord said to do down the rain or else be struck down by the lightning. I don't know how to, I don't know how to preach. It's been a long time. Proverbs thirteen seventeen, Thou shall not commit murder upon uh, requests. <laughs> Malachi, Malachi, that guy. Who's the wise guy? 1317. Let me read from my Bible here. And the, Lord, and the Lord will strike down his anger upon you for being a stupid big. Whoa, oh, what? <laughs> oh no. Oh no, says the 